Hey guys, if you're interested in hearing my review and first impressions as well as lip swatches of the new Estee Lauder Pure Color Love Matte Liquid Lipsticks, then keep on watching. Okay, so first off, these Estee Lauder Pure Color Love Liquid Matte Liquid Lipsticks are new. So I own one of their Pure Color Love Bullet Lipsticks, so they look like this, the bullet version. So the Pure Color Love Matte Liquid Lipsticks look like this. So this is the shade I'm wearing today. It's this gorgeous um, fuchsia, bright fuchsia lip, and it's in the shade... 204 sassed up so it comes in this um, packaging like this and it has the shade name at the end of the carton the component is very luxe you see it says Estee Lauder right there and it feels weighted it has the shade name it's just really really pretty so I purchased eight shades in Asia and so I saw in Asia they released their Pure Love Matte Liquid Lipsticks, Pure Love Metallic Liquid Lipsticks, and Pure Love Glossy Liquid Lipsticks. I purchased the eight shades that were available to me in the matte liquid lip formula. And let me say, they feel unlike any other liquid lipstick I've ever used, ever. There's kind of a slip to it. It feels like you actually are wearing a balm or a gloss on your lips, not a liquid lipstick. They do transfer. Um, you can build these liquid lipsticks up very easily on your lips and they do not look like cracked or kind of gross looking because a lot of liquid lipsticks you can't really build them up very much because they start getting crusty on your lips. But these don't, these liquid lipsticks don't do that because there are certain shades where you have to really um, build up the lip, the lip color. And then there's a, and then there are shades like this one in Sassed Up where the pigment is there and you don't have to build it up. Anyway, the feel of these, I was kind of like taken aback. So I was like, this is different. You know, I, I don't know what this, this feeling is different. So I looked at the ingredient list. And the first ingredient on the list of these liquid lipsticks was dimethicone, which is a silic silicone oil. So you see dimethicone, I think, in um, makeup primers, like silicone in makeup primers to kind of have a, to, to, which gives you a smooth base to apply your makeup on. So that's why this feels so smooth, like a gloss or a balm on your lips, not like you're wearing a liquid lipstick. But because of that, um, it does, um, there's some slip to it, so it does transfer. So this is great if you don't mind liquid lipstick that transfers. It's just like Ofra liquid lipsticks that transfer, except the Ofra liquid lipstick formula is super moussey and still a little, you can, it's still a little drying and moussey. This one, it's really, you need to try this for yourself because it is completely in a class of its own. It's, it's very unique. But yeah, I love this lip shade. I love this color. This was just one layer. I didn't have to build this color up at all. And my two favorite shades in this collection are actually this lip and this coral lip is in the shade Flash and Burn is just super super flattering and super pretty it just sits on the lips very well all these shades sit on your lips very well you just look they just look kind of voluptuous more they look more like a lip stain you know not even like a lipstick they look like kind of a lip stain and it's just really super flattering but let me show you what it looks like when I kiss the back of my hand so you can see uh, how much it transfers okay so I'm gonna kiss the back of my hand So it's not horrible, you know, but there is transfer. But you can see I still have a lot of color on my lips. So even though, I'll do it again. So even though you see that transfer clearly, when you look at my lips, but when you look at my lips, there's still a lot of color there. There's still a lot of pigment. So it does transfer, but it's not so obvious on the lips that, that it has transferred. 
And then you can, so a great thing about these is you can just reapply it very easily after you've eaten and it does, your, your lips will not look crusty or dry like a lot of other liquid lipsticks. I don't think these have released yet in um, like the US and North America or even in Europe. Um, I'm not sure about Australia, but I cannot tell you how much these will be in the US in dollars because they haven't released them yet. But I have to tell you, like honestly, I was surprised. I didn't expect these to be like a totally different type of liquid lipstick formula. They're the most comfortable liquid lipstick I've ever used. Like I said, because of that dimethicone, it really does feel like you have like a dry oil or a lip balm on your lips, not a lip color. Because even with, um, even with classic like bullet lipsticks, for instance, the Pure Love Bullet Lipstick, I think that released last year, like, you still, it feels like a regular lipstick, you know? But these liquid lipsticks are completely different. So I want to show you the swatches of the eight colors I do have, which were all the colors that were available to me to purchase. Um, I don't know if there are going to be other colors, um, but I'm assuming there will be because the, 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 the numbers that are associated with the shade names, there are certain numbers missing. So I'm guessing these are going to be the initial kind of release, these eight colors, and then they'll add to the collection. They'll add other shades in there. All right, so let's get to the lip swatches. Oh, and I almost forgot, there's another one of my favorite shades. I think it's called Raging Beauty, and it's a very unique shade. It's like a combination between a kind of maroon and kind of deep rose color. It's very, it's a very unique color. And for some reason, it kind of reminds me of like a Lily Collins look. Um, it's just this really nice kind of, it's like a color you would see in like a Chanel line or something. It's like a deep rose mixed with a maroon. And I love it. It's kind of a, it's nice. It's a very, it's very, 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 very beautiful. It's a nice vampy lip that still looks very, very wearable, not too extreme. So those, those are my three favorite colors. Oh, and another thing, let me show you the wand before I start lip swatching. So I just removed um, the color sassed up. So you can see there's still some, um, because that color has a lot of pigment in it, you can still kind of see it has stained my lips a bit. But anyway, so let me show you the wand. It's another thing that's very unique. You can see it has this like dip right in the wand, this kind of wavy, wavy curve in the wand. So it really does... So it really does hug your lip, the curve of your bottom lip. And then I use the other side to kind of define my upper lip and it's perfect for just really carving out your bottom lip and it just fits. It really hugs that bottom lip very, very, very nicely, kind of perfectly. Oops, got some on my lip. But anyway, this wand is also super unique.
yeah, I would suggest trying these Estee Lauder uh, Pure Love Matte Liquid Lipsticks once they're released in your market. All the colors are super flattering, super wearable. So yeah, hope you enjoyed my review, first impressions, lip swatches of the newly released Estee Lauder Pure Love Matte Liquid Lipsticks. Um, I'm also interested in seeing what the formulation will be like for Estee Lauder's Pure Love um, Glossy Liquid Lip Formula and their Metallic Liquid Lip Formula because I didn't I don't I didn't purchase those but because I'm really I really wanted to see what these matte liquid lipsticks would be like so those are my thoughts please like and subscribe hope you guys are doing well and I'll see you guys on the next one bye guys.